We are... Hey guys, it's Isla. I'm coming to you from Bernie's house. We are doing a 2,000 point battle report today. Um, yeah, so I've got my Rivendell and Numenor going up against Justin's Baradur, which is just going to be absolutely fantastic. And without further ado, let's get into the armies. We're going to play to the death because we think run at each other and kill each other is the best scenario for a Dagolad. The second age is about to come to an end with the Battle of Dagolad. So this is 2,000 points, we've got High Elves and Numenor, and we're going up against Barad Doors. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely get on it, hit that subscribe button, like this, let us know what you think in the comments, and we'll show you Justin's stuff as a sneak preview. And then uh, once we hit that 250, we'll release the report. See ya. All right, Justin, let's talk about your army. Where do we want to go first? Um, so in Warband 1, we've got Sauron. He's leading 13 orcs, one with a banner. Two Mordor Trolls, six Black Numenorians, and three Trackers. Nice. Then there's the Witch King. He's got six Orcs, three Trackers, three Morgul Knights, and three Black Numenorians, one of which has a banner. Nice. Then I've got a Mordor Troll Chieftain. He's just leading 12 Orcs. I've got an Orc Captain leading six Orcs and six Warg Riders then an Orc Shaman leading six Orcs, and then we've got three Ringwraiths on horse. They all have two Might, 14 Will, two Fate, and one of them leads a banner. And did I mention the Siege Bow? No. No, okay, Siege Bow too. Nice. Okay, so I won the deployment, so I dropped down Gilgalad first, and then I ended up dropping down Kiridan, and then uh, Elendil, the captain and Isildur, and then also Elrond, the captain on horse, and Glorfindel, and then we'll go over to Justin's deployment. Um, just a horde of orcs, but some notable uh, things the Warbow, Sauron, Troll Chief, and the Witch King, and then all the wing, um, wing rays are behind there. And yeah, so this is the table. We did a 6x4 and ended up on a 4x4, so let's see how we go. Okay, so back after the turn one move for Justin, he won priority, so he's moved up first. So here's his movement. And he's just shuffled everything forward, and it's flying, so we'll get back after my move. Okay, so end of my move. Yeah, we shuffled over here half with these boys, so they can shoot over there. Um, just shuffled up, shuffled up. Uh, the cab stayed put this turn. Um, actually, just move Elrond over, and yeah, moved up here with these Numenorean bows, and these guys move forward, and Kieran, he did a heroic channel, and he's got Blinding Light off, so he used one of his own points of will, and a free one from his store, so that's what the field looks like at the end of the movement phase, and we'll get back to you after shooting. Justin shot his siege bow over onto this elf right here, and missed, so... Over to Elven so shooting. So over to my shooting, these guys moved half, so they shot through um, and they did a few hits but failed to do any. One got on a horse and failed to wound. Then over here, these guys unleashed on the orcs. We killed two of the two-handers out of there, one of the shields, and two of the two-handers over here, and one of the shields and one of the spears. And three guys tried to shoot the troll and did nothing to him. So yeah, that's what the field looks like at the end of turn one. Okay, so this round I won prior one priority. I didn't do any magic with Kieran, not this turn. Um, but yeah, so um, Justin's starting his move. We did a big shuffle around with the Numenorean shield wall. Cow stayed put. These guys move forward. Um, Kieran's then giving him the blinding light. And then also, yeah, Archer shuffled over three this way. So hopefully still maintaining a clear shot. And if not, well, oh well, doesn't matter too much. Um, so yeah, that's my move, Justin's moving up, and we'll see you after Justin's move. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Justin's wild rider said put everyone move forward. Ready to engage. No just uh, no magic from Justin. It's everything out of range, so Go over to my shooting phase, then Justin's, and uh, yeah, we'll okay, get back so to Okay, so back you. after my shooting, these six Numenorean bowmen shot over onto the Morgul Knights and killed one of the steeds and sent a rider flying. Um, he took a strength three hit and uh, he survived that. 
And then this group of archers, first group, shot into this troll, managed to wipe him off. And this second group shot into him and managed to do one wound. So he's down to two wounds. So yeah, that's the table after my shooting over to Justin. Justin's wild rider shot over at these elves with no avail because of blinding light. And the siege bow tried to shoot through the forest onto one of these knights and also missed rolling on one. So we'll come back after okay, so I won priority again and yeah, this move phase was pretty boring. We just sort of lined up, stayed still and these guys shuffled over three just in case they decide to try and sneak around a building or whatever. But yes, so that's what it looks like. Justin's doing his move and we'll be back to you after Justin's next move. All right, so Justin moved up and he did a chill soul with Sauron on Elrond's horse and killed the horse and he passed his throne rider. He was fine. And then my shooting... These guys shot over here to no avail. These guys shot over here and killed a wag. And then these guys shot in the group here, uh, killed a couple orcs and the captain shot at the troll, had to go through two black numbs, got both in the ways, hit the troll and then rolled a five to wound. So he's a point of might to do another wound. So that trolls on one wound left. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's what the table looks like at the end of the turn. Um, we'll come back after Justin shooting. All right, so the Siege Road went for a big shot on the Elf Captain here and absolutely sniped him out, managed to hit, and yeah, blasted him back. So he ended up killing the banner behind him, knocking over a Lendil, knocking over this banner and going through there. He ended up taking a wound and having to use his last point of might and fate to save it. And yeah, that was that. So end of the turn, that's what the table looks like. And right, we'll get Justin's back. move. We're getting into the engaging now. Shit. And yeah, so couple compels uh, went off, so this guy compelled uh, Lendl and he went forward. Uh, sorry, Gil Gallard, not Lendl. Um, this guy compelled a sealed door and he went forward. Stopped a few spells, draining his resources. Managed to roll a few sixes in retaliation as well. Um, Sauron tried to chill soul on Asphaloth and uh, I passed my fate, my first roll of fate with him, so Asphaloth is fine at the moment. And yeah, so this is how the board's looking after Justin's movement. Uh, we'll be back after my moving. Okay, so yeah, past a bunch of terrorists here to get into the Morgul Knights. This guy failed. Uh, moved around with these elves. Moved up and engaged. Um, Sildor's getting left behind because he got compelled. Uh, Elendil, they moved half because they were knocked over and they stood up and did all their stuff. Elrond's moved forward and yeah, uh, he failed his terror to go into a Black Numenorean, so another friend instead did that. And yeah. Um, how to compel Gilgalad, and then yeah, just move forward, phalanx to start engaging the enemy. Let's say it. The table looks like just getting the combat. So uh, these guys lost their fight, didn't get wounded. These guys killed a black uh, guy, killed two of these guys here, and killed the orcs in front with all these uh, cav. And then yeah, just kept going on, <coughs> chugging along. Uh, lost the fight here with Gilgalad, even though he had support, and then lost an elven spear. Yep. And yeah, just killed a Wag Rider, the Wag ran away, killed a Wag Rider, the Wag stayed, and then won these fights and then failed to kill anything. So yeah, this is the oh, table thanks. at the end of the turn, and we'll be back in the next phase. Okay, so... Oh, just, even just have another pair of hands. So we ended up, um, yeah, just yeah. doing lots of uh, moves this turn. Gilgala did his. Uh, he won the roll-off, so he did this one first. It was uh, one of these races. Him who called it, I think. And yeah, they all shuffled around, did theirs. Then I counted. I did Gilgala, stood up, moved all this stuff up here, cancelled his captains. Um, and then he did the Witch King, so he got around there, did lots of combats. And then, yeah, and then I ended up charging in this guy, who also called a move, so I cancelled that one. And yeah, so... Everything sort of shuffled up with the moves, and then it goes to priority move, and then into uh, Justin's priority move. So, okay, hey. in my move, um, these guys end up failing their terror, so that's why they're sitting back here like chomps. This guy got in, this guy got in, and Glorfindel got in with an orc. So, yeah, and just everything's just sort of stuck, sort of, um, yeah. And uh, obviously, yeah. Uh, Sealed or is transfixed there. So yeah, that's all yeah, right. Justin's move, he uh, moved up his fury and his orcs over here. And yeah, we're just all engaged and doing good stuff. So over to the combat phase, cause shooting's pretty much far out all by right. now. All right, we'll break down the combats for you. Um, so Sauron did a giant um, heroic uh, combat. So he got through and then he won this one against the captain and four guys. And then he did a wound on everyone in base contact with spear supports, the, that heroic action, uh, sorry, Brutal power attack he has. 
and then failed to do anything. Uh, rolling bad. And then, yeah, just killed some stuff over here with the elves, got through, uh, lost an elf with that captain there. <clears throat> Uh, killed a few things in combat with the elves that managed to charge on horses. And yeah, over here I lost a few Numenorians. Um, one got hurled, got through, lost a banner for the hurl, and lost the guy that got hurled, and this guy got knocked prone. And then yeah, over here, um, pushed a few things back, didn't really win any combats, um, and kill anything, and vice versa with him, and then Glorfindor killed one orc in his combat. And this guy failed his terror earlier. And yeah, that's the table, end of the turn. All right, so yeah, we ended up, um, yeah, engaging across the board. Isildur got in with the Troll Chief and then got transfixed. Um, we charged in around there, did all that. Good stuff, and yeah, so... Now we're going to combat, and we're going to determine who's calling what, and we'll so get back we to come it. back with combat, so we traded <laughs> blows off. And yeah, so we ended up doing a strike with a Lendil. And yeah, not rolling very well. Sauron ended up winning the fight. Didn't have any might to win it with the captain, even though he ended up rolling a five. Um, Elendil rolled a four high and five high with the warriors. So Elendil spent his last two points of might to win the fight. And then, because Sauron was trapped, but he had to move two models to get out, um, I ended up doing five wounds in total from all the boys in Elendil. Um, so yeah, Sauron has been removed this turn. Justin's now eligible to break. And um, yeah, we've come to this point. So. Uh, we're gonna have to do a model check, see how many models Justin has lost, because he'll break at 41. I don't think he's quite there yet. But uh, yeah, that was a big turn. Um, Sauron may yet come on next turn. And yeah, that's what the table looks like. We're just killing orcs and we've lost a few now. We've lost four Ribcav, <coughs> um, a Kingsguard, two Elven Warriors, uh, sorry, three Elven Warriors and a Numenorian and two Numenorian bows. So yeah, that's the theory. Okay, so movement, everything's engaged up. Just one priority, so he's engaged over here, engaged up over here. Um, I think it was Sildor called a move. So yep, uh, I ended up winning that move off. So we moved everything up here, engaged Sauron, got him locked down, locked down the Troll Chief, um, got him charged with a Cav and a Lendil, uh, sorry, Sildor and a Spear. And yeah, locked down some stuff here. And Justin just charged back across the rest of the field. Here I am trying to save some might for later on. But yeah, um, Justin's at 35, so he needs seven more to break. We're getting there. Uh, oh, sorry, six more to break. So yeah, we, we're getting there and yeah, it's going to be a big slog. But he's still got plenty of heroes around to keep his models on the field um, should he start having to take courage tests. So... We'll see how we go. Okay, <laughs> so we got um, lots of combats in here. Lost a couple, killed a couple. Same through here. Um, Isildur got rendered to death by the troll. He lost his strike off and rolled a one oh, and so killed himself. Came off. And then we ended up uh, getting yeah, Sauron rendered to death, uh, the captain of Numenor there. And yeah, uh, uh, Lendor was transfixed. And yeah, lost a few models here and there and then really capitalized over here and killed quite a bit so that's what the table looks like and we'll be back after next round <laughs> all right so um yeah we did a big combat lots of things got died sauron took good care of some stuff some new norians um and yeah so got uh glorfindor yeah. one is fight against the witch king and yeah that's it so special oh, guest oh, ethan no 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 oh no 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 oh, don't tell police, this guy. <laughs> okay, and this is where we're at. So, yeah. So, um, even though, Ethan. Hello, Ethan. <laughs> no, I don't think I will, man. Please stop. Please. My balls hurt. Ethan's oh. chin hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, Justin's quartered, and yeah, we've absolutely smashed through this game. Uh, lots of damage. Um, you know, Lendl's down to like two wounds, Asildil's dead, um, Sauron got axed and then he came back, um, ring wraiths have popped everywhere, the elf lords are still kicking around, doing their thing, and yeah, so, yeah, just absolutely nuked, nuked the game, so yeah, I think it's definitely a good victory, but holy dooly, what, I think that we, so much this carnage. has been going for four hours i think one of the guys said just that before yeah and it's time to call it like yeah. either way um we've gotten really tired so yeah. yeah so this is 
we're going to call this a practice run. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do another one, bigger one. We had um, actual Mordor sort of terrain, like Dagolad terrain, but it was really windy this afternoon and yeah. that was made out of styrofoam and it was blowing away. Oh, so we yeah. decided, we, we made an executive decision and went for the Osgiliath Thrones. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's been good. Grace, yeah. Bernie's been a gracious host and yeah. been along with us for the rides. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Um, yeah, it sort of fell over in the end there. We lost lighting and yeah. sort of started losing track of things and getting tired. So we're definitely going to give it another bash, probably maybe first thing one morning and we'll see how we go. Yeah. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Nice.